To set up commissions to be earned by your employees, go to Utilities and click Commission. If you have not yet entered any of your employees in the commission table, the fastest way to do this is to click All Employees. Click Yes and all employees will be set up with a starting commission of 1%. To edit an employee's commission percentage, click in the Commission column and type the percentage of the commission you would like this employee to earn. Click in the next line to save your change. If you want to add a single employee, go to the next available line and select the employee from the drop-down. Then choose the commission type or code. The most common type of commission is percent which means that you will pay the employee for a percentage of each eligible sale. You can also choose Flat, in which the employee will earn a flat dollar amount for each eligible sale. Or you can choose Margin, which will give the employee a percentage of the profit instead of the total sale amount. Some employers choose this option to encourage their employees not to give excessive discounts, since the employee's commission will be based on the profit margin. Then enter the percent or dollar amount of the commission. Click to the next line to save. You can set up commissions for a particular group or vendor in the same way. Start by choosing the group, then the type of commission to be earned, and the percent or amount of the commission. Then click to the next line to save. Follow the same procedure to set up a vendor-based commission. You can set up a commission for a particular product or item known as a SPIF. Enter the product number. A typical SPIF is a flat dollar amount, but you may choose to do a percent or margin percentage. Then enter the value. Click to the next line to save. Follow the same procedure to set up a commission for an item, entering the UPC instead of the product code. When an employee sells an item, he will earn the highest eligible commission for that sale. For example, if Adam is set up to earn 1% on all commissionable products, and he sells a bath product that has a commission of 20%, he will earn 20% commission since that is the greater of the two. If Adam sells a bath product from the vendor Popular Bath, which is eligible for a 5% commission, he will still earn 20% since that is the greatest of the three. To delete a commission, highlight the entry you no longer want and click Remove. Click Bye Bye to exit Commission Maintenance. If you are entering a new item that is eligible for commissions, make sure you check the commissionable box. Go to Matrix 2 to change the commissionable status for a product. Search for the product. Then double-click on the product in the search results. Make sure the commission box is checked and click Save to update your changes. In order to assign a sales rep to record commissions, you must first make some changes in the setup. Click Setup and search for Use Reps. Make sure the value for this setting is Y. You also have the option to require a sales rep for each sale. To do this, search for Sales Rep Required and change the setting to Y. 
Click Bye Bye to save your changes and exit. Now let's go to the point of sale to make a transaction with a sales rep. Start by clicking the Rep 1 button. Highlight the employee who will receive the commission, then click Select. You can include a second rep by using the Rep 2 button. If there are two sales reps, they will split the commission. Then scan the items on the sale. To change the rep for an item, click the name of the sales rep and it will become a button. Click the button, highlight the correct sales rep, and click Select. You can change Rep 2 by following the same procedure. Then finalize the sale as usual. You can click Previous to change the sales rep on a finalized transaction. On this receipt, the sales rep is Chris. To change the sales rep, click Rep. Then click the gray box next to Rep 1. Highlight the correct sales rep, then click Select. Click OK, and you will see that the rep for this receipt is now Adam. Click Bye Bye to exit point of sale. To view the commission report, click the Reports button. Then click Commission. Enter a date range to view the commissions for a specific time period. You can select an employee or leave this blank to view all employees. Select a store to see the employees for one location. Then click Run. For each employee, you will see the total of his commissionable sales for the period you selected, as well as his total sales on both commissionable and non-commissionable items. The next column shows the commission he has earned for the period. If you entered an hourly pay rate for this user in the user setup, you will see the rate, the hours worked for the period, and the total earnings for each employee, hourly wages plus commissions. If you pay time and a half for all hours over 40, Click Calculate 40 Hours Overtime at 50% before you click Run, and the total earnings will include overtime pay. Highlight an employee and click Details to view a list of all sales for that employee for the period selected. The top list shows each receipt, while the bottom list shows each product sold. Both lists can be printed or exported. Click Bye Bye to exit the details. Then click Bye Bye again to exit the Commission's report. If you allow your employees to run the Commission's report, you may want to limit them to running the report only for their user. To do this, go to Utilities, then click Security. Highlight the group you want to limit, then search for ComSal All. Change this to No Rights, and each employee in this group will only be able to view the report for his commissions. 